Hi, this is Jason Robinson from Illustration by Design, and as a freelance artist, an illustrator, and graphic designer, I use a lot of pens and drawing instruments uh, to create various artwork that I do. For, for inking, I use things like multi-liners, like these. And uh, something I started using eh, in the last few years, which I really like, or have been learning to use, are brush pens like this one. This one is a, is a Pentel brush pen, and it's a great pen. Probably the coolest thing about it is that it comes with a cartridge like this. See? It has uh, some ink in it, and then as you use it, the ink flows down. And you can, let's see, pull it out, goes through the pen into the, into the nib here, into the brush. And then you're able to actually draw with it. It's very, very cool. Works great. And as, as the ink runs out, you, you don't have to buy a new pen. You can just buy new cartridges and uh, put them in here to refill it. And it's really cool. Um... However, I found something even cooler in the past year or so. Th this is a great pen, a great brush pen. It can do thin to thick lines really well. The downside of it, for me anyway, because I don't have enough skill, is that when I want to do detail, sometimes lines get thicker than I want. They can't give me the really, really fine lines that I want to make when I'm drawing um, cartoons or, or people's faces or things like that. So, um, about, eh, it's probably been a little over a year ago, I discovered this. This is something really, really cool. It's, it's very much like this Pentel brush pen, but it's even thinner. It's called an, let's see, uh, Akshia Sai Thin Line Brush Pen. And I don't know if you can read that. Let's see, there you go. It says right there, thin line, right there. And it's a great pen. However, there's a downside to it. Unlike the Pentel brush pen, it is not refillable. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't come with a cartridge. So what I, what's been happening is I've been using them, and I use them a lot. Um, they run out. This one is pretty much dry. See, I'm trying to, trying to make lines with it. But it's all it's all dried out. It's, it's basically dry brushing at this point. If you can see that, see, and it's still some ink in it, but it's mostly meh, it's mostly dead. So what I've been doing is I've been buying new pens, and these aren't that expensive. They're only probably eh, I don't know three to five dollars each. Um, there's a link in the description of this video um, where you can buy it. Um, and uh, so, you know, I've been willing to, to buy new pens every, every couple months as, as they run out. But I have recently discovered, I guess this past weekend, after thinking about it for a while, how to refill the pens, finally. So I don't have to buy new pens. I can actually refill this. It doesn't come with a cartridge. It requires, it requires some ink, like this, carbon ink which is a very good ink, apparently. It's platinum carbon ink. And, and again, the link to all these products and things I'm gonna be showing you will be in the description. And you have to take this apart a little. So you have to do a little pen surgery on this brush pen in order to refill it and have it be as good as, as new, basically. So I'm, I'm going to show you how to do that. I guess, first of all, you have to take apart the pen. So take the cap off of the thin line flip it around, put it on the back end of the thin line. And I've, and I've noticed this as I've been using the thin lines over the past year or so. When you put the cap on here, it's a very snug fit. And then when you pull it off, the bottom of it, the back of it, pulls out a little. And I would always just like push it back in. I figured, oh, you know, it's just, it's just the way the pen is. But after several months and buying a few more of these pens to replace the dry ones, I started thinking, well, maybe this is a way to access the inside of the pen so that I can somehow refill it. So that's what I, that's what I did. I pulled it so it's sticking out a little, and then I twisted it a little like that. 
so I can get the back end off, okay? Once you get the back end off, you can see the inside of the pen, okay? Now, if you look inside the pen, you can't really see that well, but deep in there is what looks to be cotton, okay? The next step is once you get the back off the pen, put the pen down. What I did, what I ended up doing, oh, stay, stay. I ended up buying this, which is basically, it's a pack of tweezers of different sizes and lengths. And this is pretty cheap. This is under $10, okay? So you unroll it, almost like a surgical kit of tweezers, okay? I got the longest one, this one. Put that aside. Take the cap off. Very thin tweezers. Take thin tweezers. Take your pen with the back side off and stick the tweezers down in there to grab that cotton that's deep in there. And do it carefully so you don't damage anything. Oh, missed it. Try it again. Hmm. I get it. I know it's in there. I know it's in there. Let's see. Let me look at it first. There we go. There we go. Okay, I got it. All right, now I'm pulling this out. Alright, now it turns out that this cotton is basically inside of a plastic sheath, okay? You have the body of the pen here. Put the cap back on for now. Now, the back side, you have the bottom. You have the body of the pen, which is now empty. Okay. I took out this plastic wrapped cotton. And this cotton that's wrapping plastic that goes inside the pen goes down and connects directly to the brush part of the pen. And all you have to do is just refill this cotton with, it's resaturated with ink. Uh, as, you, as you as you use the pen, the pen uses ink that's that's been absorbed in this cotton beforehand, and then as it gets used up, the the pen becomes dry. So the goal is now that the, the ink has been used up in this plastic sheath filled with cotton, I have to refill it with ink. And to do that, I bought this ink. It is platinum carbon ink, and. Uh, I chose it because it got really good reviews in terms of using it for um, fountain pens, brush pens, and the like. Apparently, it does not clog. It's waterproof, um, and it's supposedly very, very good ink. It's a little expensive. It costs, I think it costs like $14 to buy, but it, um, let's see, how much ink is in here? There's a, there's a lot of ink, and it takes very little ink in order to fill, um, in order to fill that that small, um, the small little sheath um, for the for the for the brush pen. So next part is to get the ink out of here and into here, into here. So to do that, open it up, and there's a little bottle inside the opening. There's a little cup. And that is sort of like a little fancy reservoir for ink. So I gotta take the ink out of there and get it into the, the cotton sheath. And to do that, I bought these. <laughs> They're little syringes, little one millimeter syringes. And uh, again, these were cheap. These, I think there are 10 syringes in here. I think it cost, I can't even remember maybe seven dollars for all ten they come with uh, come with needles but they're blunt needles and these are needles that are meant for use on you know baby animals to feed them um, 
for uh, for our projects, things were you know that aren't medical uses at, for humans anyway. Um, so you have these blunt needles like this, which are like I said, blunt. And, and I don't like needles at all, but uh, these are cool. Um, so you can either use those, or you can use what I what I use for in this case. I used a little plastic needle. They have little plastic needles as well. So, um, either one is perfectly fine to use. I chose the plastic needles just because, just because. <laughs> um, so, you take the plastic needle, has a little cap on it, take it off, boom, put it aside, and take a syringe. Like this. Which, you know, works like a syringe. Take the needle. Just... Push it on there like that, and then take your bottle of ink, and let me just fill the cup up so like that. It's sort of turned over, and you open it up, and that is filled with ink. All right, let me try not to spill this. Actually, let me put this. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to put this down where I won't spill it. And I'm going to draw the ink out with this wrench. There we go, like that. Can you see that? About uh, how many? How much ink is in there? There's about 0.5 millimeters of ink in there right now. Okay. Now I'm over my sink <laughs> because I'm messy and I am prone to spill things. So I'm going to put this paper aside so I don't destroy it. And you take your cotton sheath. As you can see, it looks, you see, ah, let's see, where's the camera? There it, is. Oh, rup, rup, there it is. Okay, you can see the white inside there. That's because the ink has been used up inside of, inside the, uh, inside the little sheath. So you want to fill it up slowly so that the cotton absorbs the new ink and it will show up on the bottom end here. Okay, right now, the bottom end is dry, basically. There's no ink coming through. So, you want to slowly, drop by drop, transfer the ink from your syringe into your white cotton sheath. So, let me do this so you guys can see it. So I can see that I'm showing you guys. Alright, here we go. I'm going to do a drop by drop over the sink. So, if I spill, no harm, no foul. This is a fairly slow, eh, not too slow, but I guess I can stick it in there and just sort of squeeze it in. But um, you don't want to squeeze too quickly because that if you do, you're probably going to make a mess. And again, if, when you do this, do this over a sink, a you know, bathroom sink like I'm doing or you know, kitchen sink, whatever. Just uh, because what I'm using is waterproof ink, um, you don't want to make a mess with it. It'll be hard to clean up. <laughs> As I said, I'm, I I try not to be too messy with with my art. So. And you'll be able to tell when you've used enough ink because the the cotton. As you're looking down on it, will obviously be saturated. It'll it'll be clearly wet and won't be able to absorb any more ink. So at that point, you want to stop and then just if you have any ink left in your syringe, just transfer it back into the uh, into your bottle and then you know for future use. This one is let's see. Yeah, 
still. And it takes time for the ink to work its way down uh, to the bottom of the uh, of the sheath where the where the brush nib will be. So just be patient and it'll work. All right, that seems to be filled. Just waiting to see if the if it will continue to absorb the ink. When it stops absor absorbing the ink, then I know that it's filled. See, I touched the bottom and it's now putting out ink. So I know it's filled, okay? It's, it's saturated all the way through. That's the point when you want to stop. When you touch the, uh, the bottom of it and you actually get a significant amount of ink on your finger wet, okay? Now the, the sheath is filled. I'm just going to squeeze the rest of the ink back into the ink well. Now put this aside. Bam, like that. Okay? Now, at this point, you take your now refilled cotton sheath and just slip it back into your brush pen, like this. Slide it back in. Let it drop. You may have to nudge it. Okay? It drops in, just like that. Okay? And uh, once you do that, you take the back part of the pen, stick it back in, and then just push it back in. And that will finish pushing the, the sheath, the cotton sheath, now refilled, back onto the nib inside the pen where that allows the, uh, the bristles to absorb the ink. Okay? Like that. And, you know, just hold it upside down like that for a second. Allow the ink to uh, allow the ink to resaturate the the bristles of the brush. I'm just gonna wipe the ink off my fingers so I don't get all of my clothes. Close this back up, and then with luck, it should now draw. The pen should now be refilled with ink. Hopefully. We'll see. Remember the first time? It drew like this. Very dry brush looking effect. That is cool, but it's not what I wanted. I want an actual brush, fully black brush pen. Now, let's see if it works. Ooh, look at that. It works. This brush pen has been healed. Look at that. That is awesome. Very, very cool. And, you know, it's only, it didn't take long for the ink to uh, get back down into the, uh, into the bristles. You know, probably a few seconds, actually. But, um, you know, when you compare this to this, it's, you know, it's as good as new. So, that is how you refill in Akashia Sai thin line brush pen. So hopefully this will be of help to uh, you know a lot of people who may have been buying and rebuying their thin lines. Again, I mean it's a great product. I love it. And I you know, I didn't really have a problem buying new ones, but the fact that I can now refill these on my own for basically free. I mean other than the expense of the ink itself and you know I had to buy a small 
a small syringe and stuff. But over, over the course of, say, years, I mean, I, I'd be spending a, a fair amount of money on that stuff. And uh, now I don't have to worry about it. I don't, I don't have to worry about going back online and trying to find them and buying new ones. Now, now I know how to refill it. And now, so do you. So hopefully this will, this will have been of help to, uh, to you. And you'll have lots of fun. Uh, taking your thin line apart and doing minor surgery on it. I don't know, for, I, for some reason I enjoy doing that sort of thing, sort of figuring things out and taking things apart and then getting them to work again. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and uh, please share it out to your friends, let them know what you've learned and how to uh, fix your, your thin line brush pens. So, hope you guys take care, and uh, have fun drawing. All the best.